so in question 4 of this exercise the problem statement says is the following situation possible if so determine their present ages so here is the situation the sum of the ages of two friends is 20 years four years ago the product of their ages in years was 48 so this is the situation that's given to us and we have to find out whether this situation is possible or not and if it is possible we have to find the present ages of the two friends so let's draw a quick visual to help us model this situation so let's say that a and b are the two friends and what we are told is that the sum of the ages is 20 years so let's suppose that the age of a is x years then the age of b has to be 20 minus x years because the sum should be the sum of the ages should be 20. Now four years ago a's age would be x minus four years four years ago a's age would be x minus four years and b's age would be 20 minus x minus four so that's 16 minus x so b's age would be 16 minus x years and now we need to uh, we are also told that the four years ago the product of their ages was 48 so x minus 4 times 16 minus x this product has to be 48 so here's our equation x minus 4 times 16 minus x equal to 48 and we need to figure out whether real roots exist for this equation or not and that will tell us whether this situation is possible or not so let's figure this out so let's first expand the product on the left side so we have x into 16 so that's 16x and then we have x times minus x so that's minus x square then we have minus 4 times 16 is minus 64 and then we have minus 4 times minus x that's plus 4x this is equal to 48 so we have let's collect the term so we have minus x square and then we have 16x plus 4x so that's 20x and then if we bring 48 to the left side uh, and we'll have minus 64 minus 48 and that will be equal to minus 112 so minus x square plus 20x minus 112 equal to 0 or if I write it in the normal way where the coefficient of x square is positive I can write this as x square minus 20x plus 112 is equal to 0 and now I need to figure out whether this equation has real roots or not now to check whether this equation has real roots or not we can check its discriminant so the coefficients of this equation are a equal to 1 b equal to minus 20 and c is equal to 112 so let's calculate the discriminant of this equation so the discriminant is b square minus 4 ac b square minus 4 ac so this will be equal to minus 20 square minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 112 so this is equal to 400 minus 4 into 112 is 448 so 400 minus 448 is minus 48 so the discriminant turns out to be negative so the discriminant is the discriminant of this equation is negative of this equation which means that this equation does not have real roots there is no value of x there is no real value of x which satisfies this equation and that means that the situation described to us is not possible because we could not find any value of x which satisfies this situation so the answer to this question is that no this situation is not possible to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.